I have even heard a father's telling their daughters, hey, on that first day, he need to bring a copy of his credit, credit report. Excuse me? What, what? Are you serious? Or yeah, if he, if he, ain't, if he ain't making a certain amount of money, don't even deal with him. That, that, is, that is unrealistic. Because the truth of the matter is, um, she dated a 25 year old man. What was your credit score when you were 25, Pops? Oh. <laughs>
And so they go out here in the dating market and they put all this stuff on a young man. He's like, what? I got to make $120,000 a year. I'm 25 years old. That's not even realistic. It's not. Especially like like you said, if you're dating a young 20-something-year-old college student, yes. Um, yes. no, like it's going to take several years for him to accumulate the amount of money, funds, credit. Mm -hmm. He might even have a exactly. <laughs> credit score. And the thing is, it's, it's the crazy stuff like, if a man can't pay all the bills, he ain't worth having. Really? Yeah. In, in, in our economy today, are you an economist, Pops? Are you an economist? Because in the economy we live in today, 90% of women go have to work. Yeah, that's the way it works. In order to have a lifestyle, especially a lifestyle that you want, ladies, yeah. we talked about that before, you probably gonna have to get out here and work. Your name, your last name ain't Marco. You ain't Meghan Marco. You ain't a princess. You gonna have to get out here and work. Mm -hmm. And you have to work with a man to have the lifestyle that you want. To build together. So, mm -hmm. Pops, Dad, stop telling these girls that. that you gotta, yo, your wife worked for 30 years, but you just retired her last year and y'all 60. Stop it. Yeah. You're not helping. Mm -mm. You're hurting. In your haste, in, in, in your app, your love for your daughter, you are hurting her in the long run because she has, she's going out here in this world and she has the wrong thing about what men really are. Yeah. Really. That's so true. And that kind of goes to our next point. You want to go into <sighs> yeah, that Yeah, unrealistic dating standards. Like you, you already... You're really already touched on it, mm -hmm. but like, like you said, like the the first date, some of your first dates are bombing because you're going in with this checklist that dad has talked about, father figure has talked about, and then don't get the mamas involved. Of course, they're adding their little two cents. So you've got all this stuff in your head and you're like, okay, so yeah, tell me a little bit more about you. What, you know, uh, wh where do you work? Tell me a little bit more about where you I work. work at, I work at the tire, the tire shop. Okay. So about, what would you say your annual income is? This is date one. Why is it? Why, why is it? Well, because um, I'm a really driven person and I'm really, I'm focused and anyone that's in my space, they've got to be mm. ambitious and you know what I mean? I'm a goal, I'm a go-getter and that's what I'm looking for. So yeah, what would you say about your annual? About $35,000 a year. Mm. Do you aspire for more? Of course I do. Okay. But what it, tell me more about that. And at this point, the date's over. <laughs> it, it is. Like, the what? date, I'm done. I am done. Y'all, if y'all, it's if like y'all want a resume. You exactly. want a, you want a full resume? Just yes. okay. Let me see what you got. This is not a job interview. No it's wonder absolutely. your dates are failing. I'm sorry. Yes. If that's what you're doing, no wonder. And, and if y'all watched our video, how we met, like I told you, <laughs> she made more money than I made. We were both in the military. She I rang me. She made more money than I made. And she came at me with that. Oh, you oh you a you're an E3 and I'm an E4. Mm, it's not gonna work. So. A lot of y'all, and, and that comes from fathers putting this mess in their daughter's heads that he got to do this, he got to do that, he got to do that. And you go, you're 21, dating a 21-year-old, and you're looking for, your father's 50. Yeah. And you're looking for him to have 50-year-old outcomes and 50-year-old wisdom and 50, that's not the way it works. That's not the way it works. We got to do a better job in that, dads. We got to tell, give our daughters the real about what it takes to be a man mm -hmm. and the journey that we go on. And we're going to talk about that more down the road. We sure are. All right. Number number, number four, four is a good one. This is the one that the, that prompted me to make this video. Yeah. Fathers keep their daughters single by being dishonest about the man that they were at their daughter's age. Oh, yeah. So your daughter's 25 years old and she's dating now. She's beautiful. You raised her up. She's a fine young woman. She's going about her business. She's doing good things. And you tell her to go out and look for this man that is now you at 50. He don't exist at 25. You're dishonest. Because when you were 25, you were sticking everything you could stick. Oh, wow. You was you was in and out, <laughs> you was in and out of, of every woman's uh oh, my. house you could be in. Oh, okay, you said house. Yeah, I, I refuse. <laughs> I and didn't know you, and, where you, and you didn't know who you were. Because guess what? Most of us don't know who we are at 25. Yes. You didn't have your credit That's together. That's true. You were making $20,000 a year. You Some of you still was living with your mama. and But then you tell your daughter to go to find this man that could do who's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah. Who's established. And he's 25. How fair is that? You're being dishonest and you're being disingenuous as it's hurting your daughter. Yeah. Because she's going to, daddy knows best, she's going to go out there and look for what dad told her to look for. And guess what? He ain't out there. She can't find him. So then she's internalizing everything that you said. And then she starts to kind of look at herself and like, well, why can't I find him? He, apparently he's out there. And you start getting low self-esteem, thinking mm -hmm. it's something that you're doing wrong when you might just be set up 
to fail. Yeah. You were out here smoking weed and running red lights at 25 years old. Running red lights. And you may got, you may, she may have siblings that she may not even know about. She may have siblings that come on for Thanksgiving and Christmas and those, those are my dad's other kids. So what were you doing when you were 25? You certainly weren't building the empire. You was doing something else. And so even, and even if you were together, it's not fair to put that unrealistic expectation on the man that's trying to get with the daughter. He's 25. I'm just, and I'm just using 25 as an avatar. It could be 25, it could be 20, 21. Yeah. I got married at 22. It would, it would have been completely unrealistic for my father-in-law to tell me at 21 years old or 22 when we were getting ready to get married, I can't, you can't be with my daughter because you ain't making what I make. I'm 21. I'm 21 years old. So this is this is the problem I have with that because I see the back end of it. Yeah. That, guys, fathers, I see the back end of it. You have these girls that come and talk to us I want to be married. Okay, what are you looking for? A man like my dad. Did you know your dad when he was your age? No, you didn't because you weren't even born. You know, you were very, very little. And I guarantee you the man that he is now at 40, 50, 60, he was not at 20. He wasn't. I guarantee you Because it takes that. time. Because it takes time to become a man. The, a man has to take what I call the hero, what's called the hero's journey. Mm -hmm. The hero has to go on, he has to go on a mission to become. And that's what men do. We grow up, we leave our parents home, we go on a mission to become the men that we become. And it does not happen overnight. And it don't happen what? by 18. No, it doesn't. Or 21. Or it just 31. Yes. Or 41 for it, that matter. It's a lifetime. Because I'm 43 years old and I'm still on my hero's journey. I'm mm -hmm. still becoming the man that I am trying to be. I'm better and better every day. But guess what? The man that I am now at 43, I was not at 23. Nope. Almost day and night. And so this is what we do to our daughters, guys. We we are messing them up because we are telling mm -hmm. them we're filling their head with all this stuff. That's not true. And they're it's out there fair. looking. They're out there looking for a unicorn, and they don't exist. And we wonder why the rate, especially in the in the black community, why there are so many young ladies that are single. Mm -hmm. And this is a, a big part of that that we're looking for these things that don't exist. And you're in your thirties, late thirties, early forties, and you're still looking for this guy mm -hmm. that you haven't found and even like you said even in your 40s you're still growing you're still becoming yep. it's still a process and now you're being really picky and you know the guy that you're you're looking for he may you know have kids yep. been married like this is so the best thing you could do as a father the best thing and this is what i do with my daughter the best thing you could do with your daughter my daughter will be 15 here soon and we're starting to talk about boys. Mm -hmm. But the best thing you could do for her is help her to understand the masculine journey. Yes. Help her to understand how men think, what a good man looks like, how he operates, the things that he does. Because there, there are certain characteristics that good men do. Mm -hmm. Good men are punctual. Mm -hmm. Good men have manners. Good men are, are nice to people. Mm -hmm. They're also very helpful. They're masculine in their approach to life. They're logical. These are things. These are qualities that you want to tell your daughter to look for. Don't get her to go out here and attach no dollar amount to it right. or some career to it. Go marry a doctor. Go marry a lawyer. You know, many docs and lawyers go outside their wife's head, like stuff like that. You need to help her to understand what a good man looks like. And the best thing you could do is teach her patience. Teach her how to vet a man. Teach her how to what to what cause to look for. What things to look past. I don't care if you pull up in a Bentley. Don't worry about that. If you pull up in a Subaru, don't worry about that. If he lives in a one-bedroom apartment with, with two roommates, maybe he's getting somewhere. Where is he going? Mm -hmm. These are the things you have to teach your daughter about how to look for a good man. Because if you make him the boogeyman, every man's like, oh, you know, the only one one thing, then you're going to put fear in her. Yeah. You're not going to get the result that you want. So that's something that I thought we need to put out there. You know what? And I think we'll end the video right there. And with that... That's enough, enough said. said.